what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back this video is brought to you guys by ease us they have a variety of data recovery options partition managers backup and restore programs and even data transfer utilities so go ahead and check all of that out in the link below but today we're going to be focusing on one of their most famous options and this is known as ease us data recovery wizard 12.0 so as you guys can see i'm going to go ahead and download this and show you guys exactly what it can do but here's an overview before we get started so as you guys can see it basically scans your PC PC, maybe memory cards, USB flash drives, or even whole devices to potentially find things that are, you know, important to you, your photos, your videos, your messages, your text, who knows, this might be able to recover it. Now it can recover it from, you know, we have a tendency to mess up every once in a while, we might accidentally delete something, format something, um, a hard drive failure may happen, a virus can attack, a system might crash, a partition might crash, or you might lose it or delete it while trying to install Linux, long story, I've done it in the past and of course there are a few other times where you might have to recover data as well this thing saves a lot of time a lot of hassle and it comes in at a pretty solid price considering what you are trying to bring back so let's go ahead and check out exactly what it can do all right so as you guys can see this is my dslr sd card and unfortunately i just formatted it and all my info is gone as you can see all it has is one little dsc file and everything else is gone I don't know why I formatted it, but let's see if I can go and recover any of the data that was on here. All right, so here we have the software Data Recovery Wizard Professional. As you guys can see, here is my Nikon D3200 SD card, and unfortunately, it is empty. What can we possibly do about it? Well, let's go ahead and scan it, and let's see. Oh, wow, right away, it seems to find, wow, a lot, a lot of content on here that is absurd it goes to show how much data i could have i mean i did format this on purpose after backing up data but let's say that this was just a corrupt sd card or i just lost all those files well within the first like four seconds or so it's already managed to find all these individual files how insane is that that's actually really cool come to think of it there might be stuff on here that i don't even know i deleted ages ago that might be cool to look back on Anyhow, back to the software. As you guys can see right now, we're actually scanning all file types, but you can actually scan for certain graphics, certain audio. You can actually search for certain documents, video, emails, and other. As you can see, these are XMP files and it's classified as other. But for now, most of the things that I want to cover, let's say graphics, and I want to recover my JPEGs. So we're going to just select all of these. So as you can see, there are a few other options here as well. It has something called an image recognizer that can actually search for people people or I can search for certain animals in case you're looking for lost pictures of your dog or something certain buildings and there are other options as well how cool is that so next off I'm actually going to simply deselect all of these and I'm going to just select maybe a handful of images here or actually all the images that I lost and I'm going to try to recover them and see what happens the file might be incomplete due to an uncompleted scan but you know what that's okay we're just going to hit all right now you're going to choose where you want this and I just want it on my desktop and let's see if it does the job deep scan result and these are raw JPEG files and wow it managed to recover them and these are from a very long time ago that's amazing wow I can't even believe that it pieced all that together so the real question is can I open them and just like that I opened some of the pictures that I took on my DSLR ages ago I don't understand how it did that but that is really really amazing how cool is that remember this was a 100% formatted like it still is basically as you can see it's completely empty and yet it's finding all of this on here. How cool is that? And remember, there are hundreds upon hundreds of other things that it has found. Let me just do one more. Maybe you want to do it individually. I'm just going to select this real quick and it will show me a preview of whether I actually want to recover that. So how cool is that? I'm going to select maybe one more and that's another one. And let's see if you can recover this one real quick as well. So if you don't want to, you know, recover everything, you don't have to. But if you do want to recover everything, you can do it as well. Here's some more rooftop pictures. How cool is that? So all in all, if you lost anything on a hard drive or maybe you lost something on your SD card or flash drive, this is probably the number one way to get your things back. And it works super, super well. Remember, it's piecing together full on images right here. But just to prove a point, let's go ahead and see if we can get some of these videos back together as well. I cannot believe a completely formatted SD card still has all this info now the previews don't just go for images you can do it for videos as well so if I want to recover one of these videos it'll piece it together right on the spot so let me just quickly double click this video right here and as you can see it opened it up right here how cool is that that's a video I shot of a review a little bit back and yep that's fine 
So overall, I give this a nice solid 10 out of 10. It works super, super quickly. It can recover from basically anything out there. And they have, a, if in case it can't, they have a whole variety of other different things that will basically allow you to get your data back with a pretty small amount to pay for your precious data. On all guys, go ahead and check them out in the link below. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.